It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Chicago Bears and the Buffalo Bills. And it's all up next. Oh, it is a winter wonderland indeed. The snow is falling in upstate New York as you get a look inside Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Buffalo Bills. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gaughton on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. So how will that impact how this one goes? Can these teams ignore the distraction and the strangeness of playing in a snow game? Because it actually affects the crowd as well. That big roar you get is often muffled when there's a snow game. And the second part, what's the footwear you got on? Does that fit the turf you're playing on? And how will it handle as things get a little bit slick? And we are underway in Buffalo. Valus Jones now from his end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. And not only does he have all the skills that you're looking for as a quarterback, he's incredibly tough and plays the game fearlessly as both a runner and a passer. You provide a good running game around him and let him throw deep off of play action, you've got an all-star in the making. Now Fields going to throw on the first play. And his throw is incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. To throw his fields. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Fields to Komet there for a Chicago first. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Rolling to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Moore, the man in motion. Fields tapping it forward. Jet sweep. Take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 48-yard line. A shotgun snap, Fields. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run, 
Big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. So we see it right here on the opening drive, throwing the football in these snowing conditions. going to be very, very tough. You wonder if they're going to rethink the aerial attack going forward. It will be interesting, and it'll be a debate, because most of the quarterbacks that we know, they believe they can throw through anything. They don't care if it's rain, snow, it doesn't matter. As long as they get a chance to throw the football, and I think a lot of coaches think that in these conditions, let's throw it early before things get worse. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 right at the 30. They start the drive with Cook, and he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Now Allen. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football and now zapped right back in the other direction. On oh, the return is Jones. It's a net of 40 there. A punt of 48 and a return of eight. And the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Remember last time out, they threw the interception on their first drive. Good news, their defense backed them up, so it's still 0-0 here as they begin their second possession. Yeah, and one great way to judge a defense, how do they handle what we call sudden change when all of a sudden, you know, it goes against their offense and they have to run out in the field and try and put out the fire. Give this one great kudos for getting out there and not letting that interception lead to points. Excellent job by them defensively. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Well, maybe that'll help him settle back into a groove after the interception on the first drive here, picking up the first to start drive number two. And it is just starting over, isn't it? Sometimes it's just how you have to do it. You have to erase things from your mind. Don't worry about what happened before because over the course of the game, the good players, things turn out pretty well for them, and that's what he's trying to do here. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Fields now to throw. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Fields to Mooney for the Chicago first. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. They set up the screen to Foreman. Good call there on first down, and Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest, and they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. From the 38 now, here's second down and one. Again, Fields. That's complete to Mooney. 
And Moody going to have a Bears first down as the tackle made at the 31-yard line. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, here's Fields. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. Now motion left with Mooney. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. The key to any screenplay is all in the deception. And that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Santos' kick is up and through. And it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. So after drive number three here, we have a score, and it's three points after the field goal. I would say the feeling out process for both these teams, I'd say it's over, partner. Everyone understands what's going on now. You've kind of probed a little bit. Now you want to start throwing the big shots. First three points up on the board could be significant. After the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive? Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. So the shotgun snap to Allen. A quick throw there is incomplete. I'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Allen going to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Bills first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. At first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the route. But he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he was going one direction and was able to track the ball in another. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. To throw, it's Allen. A quick throw, going to be caught by Diggs. And Diggs will have a Bills first down up to the 47-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. A 
A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. To the air, Allen. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. And he'll take this from 147 yard line to the other. A gain of six. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. It's complete. He dials up Davis once more. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. Touchdown, Bills! And on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, you've seen some good pressure defensively already here in the first quarter. Here's another good example. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Foreman powering ahead. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Here now a third down and eight. Out of the gun, Fields. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. 
More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. That's a 49-yard punt, eight, though, on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger, a really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether <laughs> it's the simple, guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. On second down, Cook. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Four yards the gain and it'll bring up a third down. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run, probing now early to try and get things done later. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They bring pressure there on third down, but this is a nice job of picking it up and making sure their guy has time to deliver the football. And they wind up getting the first down. Here's Allen on first and 10. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second down and nine. Allen off the play fake. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. This offense so far on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and three. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And brought down, but the juke, the very nice juke, gives him a first down yardage there. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. They run again on first down, Cook. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. But he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Allen now looks to throw. And he's taken down inside the 30. 
Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. He really looked comfortable there, scanning the situation, analyzing things, feeling the pressure, and then stepping up right through the middle and sprinting for a first down. On play action, Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. A good pick up there, 22. Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They'll run with Cook. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. From the two now, second and goal. Again, it's Cook. But he will lose yardage here. Back to the four-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Now Allen. Touchdown! Deontay Hardy from four yards out. And the Bills add six to their lead. Bass on for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it culminates in a Bills touchdown. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. They'll start the drive with a give to Foreman. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. I think they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. To throw his fields. This one complete to Tunyon underneath. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. But it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Moore, the man in motion. 
And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. Into space at the 45. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. 18 yards on that one, and Chicago has the first. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. Now, I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. He was looking to get that one to D.J. Moore. That'll bring up second down. Here's Fields. That'll be caught by Foreman. Five yards, now it's third and five. And with his size coming out of the backfield, usually takes more than an arm tackle to get him down. That's why they like to get him involved in the passing game. No doubt about it. You saw him running that angle route there and catching the ball. And with his size, not often thought to have hands, but we're hearing that more and more. Guys are doing a better job of catching the ball at any size coming out of the backfield because they need to be a full part of the offense. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. And here come the Bills. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. And meanwhile, Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. They run it for the first time with a backup Murray. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. We often poke a little fun at running backs past the age of 30. Oh, they're getting old. They can't run anymore. Well, he's showing past the age of 30, you can still have some nice runs like that. You certainly can. And I think that we're starting to expand our definition of old running back. Because it used to be as soon as they hit 30, we want to get rid of these guys and go to the younger guys. But now that the guys are taking such great care of themselves, as you pointed out, you can still get explosive runs at any age. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown of this first half, a second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Now he fires deep for Shakir. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Well, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is. 
at the six-yard line. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Now a first down throw, Fields. And this one will be taken up. They'll spot it right at the seven. They'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Here's Fields. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. Darnell Mooney, the target there. Third down here. Well, come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third down, Fields. And that will be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Well, obviously searching for their first touchdown this game, partner. And that quick three and out, that's not going to achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage on that third down snap. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. And the return man will shuffle through the white stuff. Secure the fair catch with both hands. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he's got room. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Allen to throw it. Into the hands of the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Here's second and three. Here's Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The offense on third down, they've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This time it's third and three. On play action, Allen. And that is incomplete. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. So three points there, and they continue to build this first-half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps, and the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. 
And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. A run by Foreman to start the drive. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've kind of hit the jackpot there. Meanwhile, field slow there, complete to Mooney. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards for number 11. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, coming up at halftime, while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box, we'll be sending you to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis on this first half. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Fields. That's complete to Mooney. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. The Bears moving hastily in the hurry up offense. Back to throw. Fields. Working the middle of the field. He's got a man complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 34-yard line. And they'll get 14 yards out of it and a fresh set of downs. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy could be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for them, too. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Throwing again is Fields. He'll go right back to St. Brown. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. A shotgun snap, Fields. to the 24 on third down. Now it's Fields. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Fields now to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. Looking to throw on second down, Fields. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Equinemius St. Brown. 
as the first half is winding down. And the Bears are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Until that late score here in the second quarter, they'd only had the field goal. So that's just big to see that football get into the end zone. Yeah, and when you look at the scoreboard now, nothing seems out of reach. They've been outplayed in the first half. But when the clock hits zeros as they head into the half, you know what I do as head coach? What? I tell my team to sprint to the locker room to show that we've got the momentum and show that we're right back in this game. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And that slices the lead down to 17-10. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. And he just pushes his way forward for a few as the clock will run. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park with the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. The Bills were led in the first half by their all-world quarterback, Josh Allen. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Not much has changed since we left you at halftime. The snow still continuing to fall as we are back underway. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Allen's throw here, take it in by Knox. And he's tackled at the 38, but they doubled their yardage. The play started at the 19, and they gained 19. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. They run the counter with Cook. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. This is second and eight. Now Allen. That'll be complete to Cook. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 42. A nice pickup of 17 yards. 
I have to tell you, Brandon, I feel like a coach right now because I'm wondering why the angle route continues to be so effective when as an inside linebacker, you're always taught, don't let someone cross your face. If they want to go outside, it's okay. But they make that outside fake, cut back inside, often to great success. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. To the air, Allen has his man. It's Shakir. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Throwing now is Allen. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Solid coverage by the Bears' D. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. To throw, it's Allen. Well, he's going to take this right to the line to gain. Awfully close, but they'll say that he did get the six yards he needed. Didn't get much more than that, but it works all the same. First down. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completions, step up and make those throws, and he did that. And these two hooked up on a nice game to play before, and I always admire play callers that see a play that works and go right back to it, so they went right back to him. The reward, they're set up with first and goal. And Cook has it, left side. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Now you got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that huddle partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis from three yards out. And the Bills take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. Oh. 
So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. The drive starts with Foreman on the ground. Stays on his feet. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to Foreman on first. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. From the 44 now, here's second and four. One play action. Fields out to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. So, first and ten now in Buffalo territory at the 41 to throw his fields. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. From the gun, here's Fields. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Partner, there's a downside to everything and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Fields. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long, and this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They set up the screen to Foreman. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Bears on the move. They've got another first down. You want to see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset? This is the kind of play that will turn long. This is almost sort of a give up play. You're just hoping to get something positive, and it winds up breaking big, and they convert on third down. Now a first in at the 11. Fields going to keep it running right. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Bears have got it back to within a score. 
So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that cuts the lead to 24-17. After the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Bills ready to take over. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing to start the drive. Allen throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Allen going to throw. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Montez Sweat. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Looking to throw. Allen. And that is incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. A 46-yard punt, four-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. On first down, Fields. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. Fields on first down. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you add extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Ed Oliver able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. 
I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Concentration, so key on a ball like that. It's hard. I know how difficult it is. But that's a ball you've got to come up with. And instead, a big play is going to slip through their fingers, literally and figuratively. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And our game's hit a little bit of a wall here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. On first down, Allen. His throw incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Here's Allen. Getting the football to Davis on an out route. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him the first down. So the shotgun snapped to Allen. Shakir hauls it in. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A well-executed 22-yard gain. And again, it's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Allen now looks to throw. Looking on the out route, he finds Shakir. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 25-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Play action. Now it's Allen. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now Allen. Back in the end zone, can he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Now Allen. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bills 
Bears have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Number one to understand where your escape patches are as a quarterback. Here he's looking, but he knows he doesn't want to force anything. So when nothing avails itself, he slips past the rushers, takes it right up the middle, and takes it into the end zone. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was Josh Allen using his legs to polish things off. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 36 yards on the play. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. They run it on first with Foreman. Busting through contact. Just wasn't a huge hole there for him to operate. Stopped just inside the 35-yard line. 46 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Here's Fields now on second down. And this will be caught by Mooney. And Moody going to have a Bears first down as he'll take this down to the 26. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. On first down, it's Fields. And pass complete to Moore. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Bears on the move. They've got another first down. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Foreman's going to get it again on second down. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The Bears on third down, not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and eight. Fields now to throw. That's to Moore, and he's got it. Touchdown, Bears. 
Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Santos with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, old momentum, He's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. There's D.J. Moore as he and the rest of the offense head back out there. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. Well, that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but... It shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Fields. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Bears first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. 
Such a valuable commodity to have a tight end who can run and get open. How about what he just did there? Worked his way from right to left across the field and found his way free. A give to Foreman now on the option. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. 55 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That burst, good for 20 and a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. Out of the gun. Fields. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A really nice gain of 25 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Now motion left with Mooney. Fields tapping it forward. Jet sweep. And he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields fighting Darnell Mooney. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Off play action, Allen. And that one going to come up short, low throw. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing now is Allen. And Diggs has it. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Now Allen off the bootleg. And this is going to be intercepted. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. So the ball changing hands on the interception. But meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park.
So from the 36 now, first and 10. On the handoff, here's Foreman. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. From the 32-yard line now, here's second down at seven. To throw his fields. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Darnell Mooney, the target there. And it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Fields. And that will be incomplete. So a big one coming now for Cairo Santos. This to break our fourth quarter time. Santos' kick is up and through, and they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? After the made field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Try to get that pass to Khalil Shakir, but it's going to be second down. To throw, it's Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Allen, buying time to his left, and they'll get him down here at the 23. He turned that into a nice game, gets him eight yards closer for third down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it, just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Possibly a turning point, big play coming. This is third and long, to the air, Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Allen now on first down. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, who watched him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, 
This is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Plenty of time, all three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Here's Allen. That is caught by Shakir. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. They come up now on second and two. To throw is Allen. Left side caught by Diggs. And Diggs will have a Bills first down as he'll get this down inside the 35. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Here's first down. Now Allen. Inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and 10 now. Throwing, Allen. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's first and goal. Allen. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Throwing is Allen. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So now Fields and the Bears down by four. A little over 40 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Here's Fields. And his throw here is incomplete. 
The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete <laughs> a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. All eyes on fields. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Now Fields. chance left to keep this one going and I think for you and me let's think along with their offensive coordinator now has to think back cycle through every play of this contest and remember what's worked and what has it because right here he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive now they go for it on fourth but this one is going to wind up incomplete they had to go for it with such little time remaining and that will be just about all she wrote for this one. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Now a second and six. Back to the ground, this time Cook. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. They'll run again. And he will have a Bills first down, and that should be that. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.